How to fly and control an airplane? Greetings people, today we're going to teach you how to fly and control your airplane in the air. So let's start. Steps to flying and controlling your airplane while in the air. First, in the previous video, we talked about how you can take off on your airplane. Today, we'll talk about how you can manage your airplane while it's in the air. Second, once you're in the air, line up your artificial horizon or altitude indicator to make sure that your plane is level. Third, in case you're falling below the artificial horizon, gently pull back on the yoke to raise the nose of the plane, lifting it. Fourth, make sure that you continually scan the altitude indicator and the altimeter along with the rest of the instruments to make sure everything is running efficiently. Fifth, if you want to bank or turn your plane, use the yoke in front of you and turn it left or right. Six, make sure that you stay in coordinated flight by using the needle bar or the turn coordinator. Seven, the turn coordinator gauge has a little airplane with a level line and a black ball along with it. Your aim should be to keep the black ball in the center by adjusting the rudder so your turns feel smooth. Eight, the phase between the takeoff and landing is known as the cruise phase of your flight. Nine, once you have your desired altitude, you should set the engine power to 75%. 10. To smoothen out the control of the plane, trim your aircraft for a straight or level flight. You'll find the trim handle on the edge of the elevator. You can set it by either moving up or down. 11. Make sure you maintain sufficient airflow and speed to keep the airplane steady. 12. If you fly your airplane too slow or at overly steep angles, your airplane will lose airflow and go into a stall. 13. Make sure that whenever you are in the air, in a cruise phase, you use the controls very lightly, only for corrections. 14. If you tweak controls drastically, it might cause damage to your plane. 15. On your console, there is a small knob labeled Carb Heat. You have to apply carb heat for a short period of time after every 10 minutes, especially if you're flying at high relative humidity levels that encourage icing. 16. After you come to a constant cruising speed, set the controls and lock them so you can focus only on keeping your airplane level. 17. Reduce the power throttle to around 75% and maintain the RPM of around 2400 RPM. Note, this is just a guide towards understanding the flying procedures of an airplane. This doesn't give you any authority or certification to fly any airplane. It's highly recommended that you go through proper training with instructors before flying. In the next video, we'll teach you how to land an airplane. This is it, guys. Make sure that you go through all these steps thoroughly before getting on a plane. Share with us your experience in the comment section down below. If you like the video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.